everybody. I'm Beth and I'm so excited to have you here with me today because we're going to Jamaica. Yes, I have a very short trip to Jamaica. Allie and I are going in about a week to a landlording conference in, I can't remember the name of the city, but it is in Jamaica. And I wanted to show you the outfits that I will be taking with me. And one of them is kind of questionable and it is this one, which is really, really wild. And in the comments section, I'm going to show it to you first and please let me know yay or nay if you hate it, if it looks like I'm trying too hard because this is a wild Caribbean print. It is a jumpsuit with harem pants. And you know, being my age, you do have to wonder, am I going a little over the top? Is this a little bit? old lady trying too hard or is it kind of like young and happening boho older woman so anyway once you see it let me know in the comments section and if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 plus beauty family i hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and when you click that little bell that just sends you email notifications of my future videos okay let's get into this and i can hardly wait to share everything with you okay this first outfit is an absolutely wild outfit it is filled with caribbean colors it is very packable i think it is polyester it never wrinkles it ties in the back in two places and as you can see it is a wild print and it is harem pants and a jumpsuit and I am thinking that it would be really good because it looks like it would be good for going out to dinner as we're sitting like on the dock by the beach as we're eating our seafood. I think this could really work, but you let me know please if you think I'm trying too hard with his outfit or if you think it is just okay. Okay, and before I get into showing you any more of the outfits, I did want to show you my easy approach to accessories and shoes. I'm taking almost nothing in that area. Now my accessories for the trip are extremely basic and I'm wearing the same jewelry over and over again. First, the most important thing is this wonderful hat. Actually, it is a visor and I wear it all the time. In fact, when you see my outfits, imagine it with this because I don't go out into the sun without it. It is great. Then I have a set of bracelets here. I think these were from Amazon. A couple of pairs of black earrings for the black outfits. And then I have turquoise looking things, some turquoise earrings, a little plastic turquoise bracelet, which I got from Amazon. And I think these were from Chico's, these long beads. It's just a one piece set, very tropical looking. Now in terms of shoes, I'm also keeping it extremely basic. These are just some old Nikes I've had. I'll use these for walking on the beach and also for going to and from in terms of being in the airport. Always nice to wear tennis shoes. Then I just have a pair of embellished tan sandals. Jessica Simpson had them for years. And here I just have a pair of basic black, easy kind of boho, easy to wear sandals. Very simple shoes, makes it easy to travel light. I'm taking almost nothing in that area. And in terms of that visor that I showed you all wrapped up, here it is unwrapped up. I don't want to mess up my hair. And by the way, this is my first attempt at home beachy waves. I had a video where I came home from the hairdresser and JoLynn gave me beachy waves, but this is my first try at it and I think it went pretty well. Do, do you like it or do you not like it? I'll stop asking about my hair, I promise. Okay, and so here is how it looks. And I, I don't wanna put it down on my hair because it will crush everything up. But basically I wear this all the time and I've worn it ever since the kids were young and in soccer. This is the most important thing you can do in terms of anti-aging is to just aggressively avoid the sun. End of commercial there. Okay, this first outfit is a lot less intense than the one I'm wearing now. It is a black, very easily packable, wrinkle-free dress. It's just a long tank dress. You can dress it up or down, but I really like it. I'm wearing it with the same jewelry I have on right now, this necklace and these little bracelets kind of stacked. And I believe I have these earrings on with it, not totally sure but I just think it's going to be easy and breezy and something you can throw on at the beach or if you're going out to dinner. Okay, this next dress is a wild one and I almost didn't put it in here because it is another one of those that is kind of either a big hit or a super miss and I'm never sure which, but it is a very, very floral print dress. I'm wearing it with the same jewelry again, which makes it really, really easy. And it is not quite as packable, but it doesn't really matter if it wrinkles because that's kind of the look of the dress. And as you can see, it's kind of cut like a triangle. It's a very strange looking dress. And quite honestly, I've owned it for a year. I've never worn it. Do you think I should wear it on this trip? Let me know in the comments section if you think I should or you think I shouldn't. 
Okay, here is another kind of wild outfit. I'll show this to you. And as you can see, it has a black tee and I absolutely love that black halter top tee. I actually wear it backwards because I like the higher neck. I think it helps with sun avoidance. Plus, I just don't look good, I don't think, as much in a round neck, but you can wear it with the round neck way. You can kind of wear it either way, but it is that black halter tee and then harem pants. And these are quite packable. They really, well, they might wrinkle a little bit, but you would never know it. They're actually pleated around the waistline and you can kind of pull them down. They have a long elastic waist, kind of a ruched waist. So you can pull it down to wherever you need it to fit in terms of the length of the pants. But I really kind of like these. Do you think the harem pants are a little wild or would you wear them? I'm really curious about that. Now I actually have two pairs of those harem pants. And so here is the outfit again with a different pair of harem pants on. And as you can see, it, it looks good. And I can't remember in these pictures if I have the jewelry on, don't have the jewelry on. You could go ahead and wear the jewelry with either of those outfits, or you can just wear them plain because I kind of think that a high neck halter tee looks good plain. Okay, the next outfit is something that I absolutely love. In fact, I bought the skirt last spring and here it is. It is a long, packable, wrinkle-free skirt. It's a midi-length wrap skirt. It's a faux wrap skirt. And this one happens to be black. I have it in three different colors. I have it with a royal blue halter on, which I really do like that particular line of halter. And then I have it paired with the basic black sandals. Now, as I mentioned, I have that faux wrap skirt in three different colors. Two of them are great. The black is great. The dark brown, which I'll just show you in a minute, is great. And then I've got one that's kind of a kind of a diarrhea brown color. It reminds me of my former IBS and uh, it is not good. I don't wear that one very much. And in this outfit, I have that faux wrap skirt in a dark brown and it is a very comfortable skirt. And my husband, Ali, absolutely loves this skirt. Whenever I wear an outfit with this skirt, he just kind of went wild and said, oh, you look so cute. He's kind of a man of few words. And so you look so cute, it, that's high praise. And so that feels really good. Anyway, I have it paired with a leopard version of that same halter neck tee. And I must have that t-shirt in maybe four or five different colors. These ones that I'm showing you today, I bought last spring and I wore them a lot last summer. They wash up beautifully and they're wonderful quality. As I mentioned before, my husband and I are going to a landlording convention in Jamaica and we're taking my son Dylan and my daughter-in-law Melanie with us because they have some rental houses too. That's what Ali does in his retirement. He has some rental houses and uh, he kind of mans those for us. Years ago, I was right there with him. We were both working full time. Every weekend would find us up to our up to our elbows in paint and wallpaper removers and all kinds of things working on those rentals. But I am so happy that Alan has retired and that that is his main job. Very happy about that. And very happy that about once a year, we get to go to a landlording convention in a beachy location. And so this year it is Jamaica. And during that convention, we'll have three mornings of seminars about landlording. And those are always in a big hotel space and it is very, very cold. You know, the, the tables and chairs and the ice water on there and the freezing temperatures. So I generally wear jeans during the day during those landlording seminars. And so here is a look at just one of the outfits I will be wearing. And as you can see, I have a green kind of silky top with a sequiny neckline. And I have the long kind of earrings, the long black earrings with that. And I have that paired with my absolute favorite jeans from Amazon. These are the Levi's 724 high-waisted straight jeans. And I've worn them for a couple of years. These are two years old, I'm sure. They are fabulous jeans. I'm also going to take them in blue jeans as well. Okay, you may be wondering about shorts since we are going to Jamaica and I didn't have anything to show you because I didn't buy anything particularly new, but I'm going to be taking a tan pair of kind of almost Bermuda length shorts and a black pair, but I do need to go to the Gap and get a couple of new t-shirts. Seems like every year you wear out your t-shirts and you really need to get some fresh ones and I'm always excited about that. Well, thank you for looking through the outfits that I will be taking with me to Jamaica. And if you have some favorites, if you could put the number of your favorite one down in the comment section, that would be great. And I have never done a travel vlog before, and I just wondered if you would like to see me bring you along on my trip and show you some of the details of that trip to Jamaica. If so, let me know in the comment section. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'm not reading from cards today, but I am using something from my own life. I get tired of telling you how old I'll be, but I'll be Medicare eligible in April. We'll just put it that way. 
And one thing I have noticed about getting older is that I tend to become very set in my ways. And I really don't necessarily want to do that. For example, these are beachy waves that I created myself. I mentioned that earlier in the video, but I have worn long straight hair pretty much my whole life. And so this is getting out of my comfort zone a little bit to do this. And this is not to say I will do this every video for sure. I'll probably go back and forth because the other is very easy. But I also do the same things in terms of style trends. It takes me a long time to adopt any new style. And I would really like to change that about myself. And I'd like to have a conversation with you all about this. Do you feel like as you get older, you're getting more stuck in your ways and doing things more by rote? Or do you feel like you're still able to keep an open mind and try new things and get out there in the world and see it as an adventure? Let me know in the comment section if you feel like age has gotten you kind of stuck in your ways or if you feel that age has given you some freedom to fly and try new things. Because in this second half, I've realized that I don't just want to live this thing by rote. I really do want to get out there and continue to experience anew everything that life has to offer. And if you have ways you're able to do that, if you have ways you're able to keep fresh on life, then please share them in the comment section below the video. See you next time.